Hello everyone, this is Mamita Mond and today we are going to solve some exercise questions 1 to 22 of exercise 3F of chapter 3. Chapter name is playing with numbers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for, for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog masquerade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CPSC, ICC and other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video then please click the like button. Today we will learn and solve exercise 3F questions 1 to 22 of chapter 3. Chapter name is playing with numbers. And topics are list common multiples, properties of HCF and LCM, and find LCM by using HCF. Let's solve some questions. Now, question number nine: Arusi is helping her father plant trees to create a border uh, around the back. Create a border around the backyard. Uh, Arushi plants a tree every 25 minutes and her father plants a tree every 15 minutes. If they started together, how long will it be before they would finish planting a tree at the same time? We have to find the LCM of 25 minutes that uh, Arushi plants a tree in every 25 minutes and her father plants a tree every 20, 15 minutes. So LCM of 25 minutes and 15 minutes. So dividing this uh, with prime number 5, 5, 5 is 25, 5, 3 is 15. So LCM is 5 multiplied with 5 multiplied with 3, which is 75 minutes. So how long will it be before they would finish planting a tree at the same time? So 75, it will, it will take 75 minutes before they would finish planting a tree at the same time. So if they started together, it will take 75, 75 minutes long to be before they would, they would be finished planting a tree at the same time. So 75 minutes is the LCM of the number 25 and 15 minutes. And if they started together, then it will take 75 minutes. They would finish planting a tree at the same time. Now question number 10. There are 28 students in section A, 36 students in section B, and 32 students in section C of class 6 in a school. What is the minimum number of books required for the class library so that can be distributed equally among students or any of the three sections equally? We have to find the LCM of the numbers 28 students, 36 students and 32 students of the sections A, B and C respectively. So 28, 36 and 32. Divide these numbers with the prime number 2. 2, 14, 2, 18, 2, 16, 2, 7, 2, 9, 2, 8, 2, 7, 9, 4, 7, 9, 4. Seven, nine, two, three, seven, three, two. Now LCM of these numbers twenty eight, thirty six, and thirty two each. How many twos? One, two, three, four, five. 3, 4, 5. How many things? Only 2, 3. 3, 3, and only 1, 7. So 2, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five. One, two, three, four, five, and three. How many things? One, two. Two, three, and seven. Nine. Now LCM is two multiplied with two multiplied with two multiplied with two. Five two then three three seven. Now this is thirty two. This is thirty two and this is nine. And this is seven. Thirty two nine. Thirty two multiplied with nine is nine two then eighteen. One nine two then twenty seven plus one twenty eight. Twenty is multiplied by seven. Seven is the fifty-six. Five. Seven is the fifty-six plus five. Sixty-one. Seven is the fourteen plus six. Twenty. Two thousand sixteen. Two thousand sixteen. So 2016 is the answer. So the minimum number of books required for the class library so that it can be distributed equally among students. Any of the three sections equally is 2016. Now question number 11. Find the greatest number of four digits exactly divisible by 12, 16, 24, 28. And 36. You have to find the LCM of 12, 16, 24, 28, and 36 first. So 12, twenty four, twenty twelve, sixteen. Twelve, sixteen, twenty four, twenty eight, thirty six. So divide this Two six is twelve. Two eight is sixteen. Twelve, fourteen, eighteen. Now two. Two three. Two four. Two six. Two seven. Two nine. Two three. Two three. Two three is six. Seven nine. Now three. Three and three is two, one, seven, three. Now LCM of the numbers twelve, sixteen, twenty-four, twenty-eight, and thirty-six is how many twos? Four twos. One, two, three, four. Now multiply with three twos, then seven. This is sixteen. Sixteen nine is one hundred forty four. One hundred forty four multiplied with seven is one four four seven four is twenty. Seven four is twenty thirteen. One thousand eight. Now we have to find the greatest number of four digits exactly divisible by twelve, sixteen, twenty four, twenty eight, and thirty six. So greatest number of four digits is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. We have to divide this nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine with one thousand eight. So greatest number of four digits is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Now we have to divide this number with this LCM of twelve, sixteen, twenty four, twenty eight, and thirty six. That is one thousand eight. Mm, multiply with nine is and it is a seventy two ninety and this is seven and this is two twenty seven is the remainder and nine is the quotient so this is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine is one thousand eight multiplied with nine and this is nine thousand seventy two. Plus twenty-seven. So nine thousand seventy-two is the greatest number of four digits, 
which is exactly divisible by 12, 16, 24, 28, and 36. Yes, 27. So the greatest number of four digits exactly div exactly divisible by twelve twenty four. 28 36 is 9072 so 9072 is the greatest number of four digits which is exactly divisible by 12 16 24 28 and 36 Now question number 12. For each of the following pair of numbers, so that the product of their HCF and LCM equals their product. First find out the highest common factor and LCM of 14 and 21. So prime factorization of 14 is 2 multiplied with 7 and prime factorization of 21 is 7 multiplied with 3. Now highest common factor of 14 and 21 is 7. 7 is the common factor, so highest common factor is 7 and LCM, least common multiple of 12 and 20, 14 and 21 is 2 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 7 which is 42. Now product of two numbers. Now first find out highest product of their HCF and LCM. Product of SCF and LCM is 7 multiplied with 42. 7 4 is 28 and 7 2 is 14. 28 and 14 is 294. Now product of numbers is Fourteen multiplied with twenty-one, and fourteen multiplied with twenty-one is fourteen twenty-one. Two hundred ninety-four. I have applied the thickness. There is vertically crosswise method. If you want to know more about the vertically crosswise method. How to multiply numbers using Vedic math sutras that is vertically and crosswise. Please, video, please watch that video of uh, Vedic math multiplication. That is, I, will, I will upload that video in description box. Okay. I will give the link in description box. 14 and 21 is 294. Now product of HCF and LCM is 294 and product of numbers is 294. So it is 2. Now product of HCF and LCM is product of the numbers equal to the product. If you want to know more about the basic mass multiplication, how to multiply the numbers using vertically and crosswise method, then I will give the link in description box. Please, please, please watch that video. Okay. Now, uh, product of numbers.
this product of HCF and LCL which is equal to 